So I'll be showing you some stuff about the differences between Krita and Clip Studio Paint. That way you can transition much easier. So all right, the first one would be the dockers. So if you want to have a setup like this, just like this, like the default layout or workspace arrangement you have in Clip Studio Paint. Um, here, if you just install Krita, um, it will look like this. So you can rearrange these windows and panels. That way you can copy your workspace from Clip Studio Paint. But I'll be trying to copy this one. So right now, um, the color is on the lower left side. So we can just bring the color here and bring it next to the toolbar. I can make this a bit bigger, something like that. Then the brush size. So these brush sizes, um, you can find them over on settings, dockers, then quick, um, quick settings. So it will show up here. Just drag them out towards here. That way it's on top of the color. Then next, the next one would be like the brush setting. So we don't necessarily have something like this. I mean, it's over here. So it's on the top. So um, that part you can't just kind of um, remove. I guess you can like do it like this, but it's not really ideal. So it's much better if you just, you know, let it stay there. And then um, these brush settings, it's kind of like this one. So these are brush presets. These, these are also brush presets and you can just put it on top. Then if you want to have the same kind of thumbnail, you can just go over here, change the icon size, maybe something like that. So we don't have the same type of preview as Clip Studio Paint. So that's the closest that we can get. And it's kind of the same thing over here on Clip Studio Paint where these are kind of like categories of the subtool brush. And over here, you kind of have different brushes and brush types that you can browse. So it's similar to that. And you can also search over here. If you want to change some brush settings, you can go over here, um, right beside the, the icon of your brush. Um, there's this brush editor here. And if you press that, this will show up and you can change all the different brush things over here. If you don't like how this like color picker looks, you can just change the settings by clicking over here, then clicking this thumbnail over here and choosing what type of color palette you like. I think this is the closest one that we have for Clip Studio Paint. If you want to really like nail that look of um, the square palette over here, then um, we have the navigator on the top right. We can open that up using the dockers, then look for overview. So what's navigator to Clip Studio Paint? We call it overview in Krita. You can just put it over here. This is a bit smaller. Then over here, it's um, layer properties, or I think some of these are like tools and stuff. So you can just use the tool options over here, right over here. Sometimes that changes on, depending on the tool. Say I have this rectangular tool set. So the, the settings will show up here or um, it might be better if you keep it over here since it's more similar to the tool property over here. So that also changes depending on what type of tool you're using. That's a better comparison compared to, you know, having it over here on the right side. Here, we don't have um, something like this that's more about the layer properties. I think it shows up when we have, say, a vector layer. See, so some like quick settings show up here depending on what you're selecting. So we don't have something similar in Krita. But um, yeah, that doesn't really matter much since like most of the things you already have set up over here.